Hello YouTube! Welcome to, no to another Blender Game Engine Python scripting tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to use object rotation in Python. I've set up this basic scene where it's rigid body cube and ground and under it. Yeah, and I've changed a few names in scripts. It won't matter. You can leave the old ones if you wish. So, the first thing is the very basic one, similarly like we did with apply movement. It just applies specific units to the position, in this case it's to rotation of the object every frame. It's like this, own.apply rotation and then we set in 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.1 and 0, 0.0 and I'll set it to false for now you know if you have watched my previous tutorials you'll know what this means it means to either use global or local axis if we set it to true then whatever it will be direction it will be facing it will always rotate in this case around this for example if it's rotate like this it will rotate around here if it is false then it will rotate around this point instead of this I don't know if you get a point but if you don't you um yeah you should get it so what does that though you might think we apply 0 0.1 per frame and it rotates pretty fast if to it if it would be 0 0.1 degree per frame it wouldn't rotate that fast yeah these are radians but for most of people it's easier to use degrees they're more used to them how do we convert degrees to radians simple we import math so we do import math it's python built-in module and then we do math dot radians and type in degrees for example 5.0 degrees per frame and now it rotates if I set it like this it rotates very slowly the physics actually lock it locks it from rotating yeah it's too weak for example 2 degrees per frame and it's rotating really slow if I set it to no collision for a moment you can see it constantly rotating like this yeah this is how we convert how we use degrees in this equation so I'm gonna zoom out so that you can see all of it okay now this is again very basic and non physically accurate method there are better things. One is set angular well city. What this does is basically the same as the linear well city, but this is for rotation. So mass dot radians I'll set to two degrees per second 0, 0.0 uh, if I recall correctly it's how much it rotates per second it's physics based yeah basing on the low speed I'll set 90 degrees per second and you can see it actually rotates 90 degrees per second in this case it is actually you know like some games have this type of motion or object just flips all the time yeah you may already have found the equation <laughs> okay you can of course as well do own dot angular velocity equals and then set 0 0.0 0 0.0 math dot radians 0 0.5 like this Okay, it's too small. Okay, I'll set it to 45.0. The 
C and you can do it uh, local angular velocity as well now if I rotate it in Y axis by 90 degrees it will rotate around there if, if I reset it rotation it will rotate around Z yeah the final thing you remember there was a function for linear velocity which applied force there is similar thing for rotation which is physics based way to apply rotation yeah in physics we call it turku so we do app on dot apply turku and we type in values for example 0 0.0 100.0 0, 0, 0.0 and true why I don't do anything like mass point radians you can't here it neither takes in degrees neither radians it takes in newton meters which is a unit that calculates the force of rotation it's force multiplied by distance actually yeah that's what it is and this is again fully based on Newtonian's laws and it applies rotation correctly and in this case it again accelerates it the object's rotation see of course you can set it to something like 5 and then the torque will be small you can place stuff words to make it start rotate for Jesus 8 mm, this is too small Okay, something like this yeah so far I think that this is it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new don't forget to subscribe leave a like and wait for next tutorial see you later bye